Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm showing you guys how to use Twixter and Timer Map on your flips to make your edits look better. Anyways, let's get right into the video. Alright, so once you have your clips in place and you know what you want to do with them, um, first thing you want to do is right click the clip that you want to Twixter, uh, click pre compose, and just copy my settings right here. Make sure these are unchecked. Hit OK. It should then pre compose and look something like this. What you're going to want to do is take off the excess on the left side. So you can do Alt, left bracket like that to cut off the excess. But if it's going off on the right side like this, just keep it. So then what you're going to want to do is go up here into Effects and Presets, type in Twixter, and drag on Twixter Pro. Once you've done that, I want you to zoom in as much as you can using this thing down here. And go to the very beginning of your clip, just like this. Now go one frame ahead. Then keyframe the speed at 100. So click the keyframe. Once you've done that, go a frame ahead and set that to 7. Now you can change everything else. So once you go to input frame rate, you can also put that to 7. This can uh, this frame rate and the speed can change. You usually keep them constant, like the same number. So if you were to change it to 12 over here on the frame rate, change your speed to 12. Uh, it just makes it look nicer. Anyways, next thing you want to do is go to time remap mode. Uh, not time remap, sorry about that. Uh, frame interpretation to motion weighted blend, warping to inverse to smart blend, and image prep to contrast and enhance. Now it should look something like this as your original clip did, but just a little bit brighter than it usually does. Now, once you've done that, we're going to recompose that again. And once you've gotten all that, your clip should look something like this. Now what you want to do, once again, get rid of the excess at the beginning. Press Alt, left bracket to get rid of all that. Now what you want to do is do Control Shift T, or no, Control Alt T, and that'll bring up the timer map. And it'll already be keyframed right here. Um, what I forgot to mention, this is just for practice. This isn't like a good clip to use. I should use the better clip. I don't know why I was being stupid, but um, as you can see, there's a lot of motion in it like this, which isn't really that good for Twixter. But uh, this is just for practice. You're supposed to use uh, Twixter on clips that are like fluid motions that like the animation goes all the way through because um, when like, you know, animations like it's picture by picture by picture, when pictures have such a far gap in between them, like like this, like this clip over here, right here, this one's got like such far gaps between each frame, right? Like this, like it's gonna look terrible with Twixter on it. Like it's not gonna work. But uh, anyways, yeah, this is just practice. Um, use Twixter on clips that are like very fluid and go frame by frame by frame. They're like really nice. But yeah, you guys get the point. Anyways, back to the video. Alright, so next thing you want to do when the timer map comes out, I start at the beginning of your clip, find where the beginning is. So for me, it'll be right here. And find where you want the clip to end. So I want the clip to end right when he clenches his fist. So right here. And then he pulls it out like that. So right there. And right here, I'm actually going to pull this up a little more. I already clenches his fist at. And I'll start the clip right about here would be fine. All right, so once you've done that, you got your start and end points. What you want to do is highlight these two keyframes now. Press F9 on your keyboard, then go to your graph editor, which should be right here. Now, once you've done that, make sure you have uh, these three buttons checked, and then right click onto, or not click onto this, and have value graph on. So hit click edit value graph. Once you've done that, you're going to want to drag these guys. Either it's depending on your personal preference. If it goes all the way up like this, it'll start off really fast. If you go all the way down like this, it'll start off really slow and speed up. Which I believe the best way to do is bring it all the way up like this and have it go super fast at the beginning. And now, uh, every time you do that, change up the graph. Sometimes uh, with the new After Effects, the graph will get smaller just like this. Um, then, what you want to do the same side, try to eyeball it and pull this guy all the way down just as you did with the other one. So, what's going to happen is it's going to speed up at the beginning and then slow down in the middle right here and then speed up again at the end. And what's your final product? Should look like something like this. Now, you can see there's a little warping in the middle. All you need to do to change that is just move this guy a little bit back or a little bit forward like this. And find where there's a little bit of movement at the beginning so that once it slows down a little bit, there won't be any warping. And then it'll speed up at the end. So something like this. I might go back a little more, like like so. So find a little bit of movement right here uh, between the middle part, so you don't want because you don't want it to uh, 
warp in the middle. So it's just Twixter is about learning how to play with it. How the whole thing works because you don't want it to warp the whole time in the middle. So look for like clips with little movement are probably the best. <laughs> Um, it's not gonna look like much, but uh, once you put some effects on it, like these, it'll look a lot better than it did before. Alright, and that's the video. Hope I helped you guys out today. If I didn't, hit me up on Discord or comment down below. Anyways, have a good day. Oh